Hey everyone, it's me Catherine and today I'm going to be wrapping up my March month of reading and other stuffs. And overall, March was a pretty good month for me. I did almost everything that I had planned to do. So, we'll start with what I read. The series that I picked for the month of March was the memoir by Lady Trent series by Marie Brennan. At the time the series consisted of three books, A Natural History of Dragons, The Tropic of Serpents and The Voyage of the Basilisk. And overall I really enjoyed this, I'm really enjoying this series, I'm saying enjoying because it's not completed yet, I'm really enjoying this series. I expected to like it but I didn't quite expect to love it as much as I did because I wasn't really sure what to expect from it but it kind of feels, and it's how I sort of described it to my sister, it feels like a Jane Austen novel, only with less romance and more dragons, lots more dragons. So if that sounds like something that you would be interested in then I suggest you check this series out and we follow the life of Lady Tren, Isab is, is it Isabella or Isabella? I've got so many Isabelles and Isabellas going around in my head I can't remember which one it is. I will pop it on the screen. It's either Isabella or is Isabella. I think it might be Isabel. Isabel, who from a young age has been fascinated with dragons, which is not a very ladylike thing to do. We follow her as she pursues her dreams of studying dragons and we see all, and the memoirs are basically all the trouble that she gets into while she's on this quest. And I really enjoy this series and on the, on Tuesday, um, the new instalment came out in the Labyrinth of Drakes, which I already have on my Kindle, so I'm really looking forward to getting to that. And the only other thing that I read in March was Kindred Spirits by Rainbow Rowell. This is a short story that she wrote for World Book Day. It was a pound. And it's about a young woman, or I mean, a young woman, young girl, uh, called Eleanor, who is a massive Star Wars fan and she decides to wait in line to go see the new film at the cinema four days before it comes out. She wants to camp out outside the cinema and what she's expecting is some kind of like great big nerdy Star Wars party where they can all talk and laugh and discuss lots of Star Warsy stuff. Only when she turns up there's only two other people there. An older man called Troy who's been waiting in line for a, a week I think before Eleanor shows up and a young man about the same age as Eleanor called Gabe and basically it's the biggest disappointment and basically we just follow those it's basically Eleanor's four days camping outside the cinema and this was short and sweet and it made me feel all fuzzy inside and it was basically everything I, I got everything that I wanted out of this so there's basically nothing else much to say. It was great and if you haven't checked it out then I suggest you do because it's less than, I think it's about 60, it's 62 pages long so it's, it's, and it's only a pound. So if you can get your hands on it and you're a fan of Rainbow Rowell's other stuff then I suggest you uh, check it out. So that's it for everything that I read in March. Now on to all my other plans that I had. So I planned to finish Dragon Age Origins by the end of March and I have successfully and I've decided by the end of this playthrough I've decided that I'm never going to romance Alistair again. I mean I love, don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong, I love the man and he's adorable and that rose and he's so cute but he's a child. By the end of it I just want to, oof, I just want to punch him in that lovely mouth and I don't want to grow to hate him. I don't want to hate him so I'm just going to never romance him again. We've had a good time, we've had a good time Alistair, we've had a great time but this, this journey marks the end of our romance together and it's now going to be Zevran forever. I've realised that I, I, I think me and Zevran were meant to be. <sighs> sorry Alistair, I'm really sorry but Zevran, Zevran isn't whiny. Zevran, he's, he's not whiny, he's not whiny. And there was nothing more that I wanted by the end of this game than to go travelling with him while you do your king stuff. Which is what I did, which is what I did. And it broke my heart when I had to shoot Zevran, Zevran down this time. So it's not going to happen again. I'm sorry, Alistair. I'm really sorry. It's over. So since I finished Origins, I'm, I have already started my new playthrough of Dragon Age 
two and I'm really annoyed because my hawk's face is fat I can't not make her face unfat the rest of my family have like these nice cheese this they're all chiseled like they look like they've been carved and I'm just there like I mean I know I have chubby cheeks myself but that doesn't mean I want a hawk to have she's just got a fat face and I, it's not what I want from my hawk I'm sorry darling I'm sorry but that's a that's I I'm going off on a tangent now the other game I had planned to finish by the end of this month and is the only failure the only thing I failed to get done that I wanted to get done and that was to finish Ori in the Blind Forest. I am 93% done with this game. I'm on what has to be the last level and I can't do it. It's just, I, how can a game be so pretty and have such great music but be so soul destroying? I can't finish it. I just, I just... So by the end of this month I wanted to finish season one of Kuroko no Basuke and I did it, I did it and I, this is another thing I wasn't expecting to enjoy as much as I did. I expected to find, I expected it to be fun and I expected to like it but I didn't expect to be as invested as I am and honestly guys I'm loving it. How I have not started season two yet I don't know but there's other things I need to get to watching first. So guys if you have any sports anime recommendations for me please let me know because I would I there's I I, I want to watch them all this Kurokono Basuke has just been so much fun and I am just I mean it's just so much it's, there is no much it's just so much fun and watching the people uh, just watching them grow and develop and <sighs> I just really enjoyed this and really I'm just really enjoying this anime and yes hopefully I do just as well this month we'll see how Ori in the Blind Forest goes but for the rest of things I have high hope for the rest of it I have I have high high hopes for this month um, but that is it guys that is everything from me that is everything I watched let me know what you guys are up to over March and what you've got planned for April whether it be reading watching playing whatever anything just let me know in the comments below guys i'd love to hear from you so thanks for watching guys i hope you have a marvelous day and i will see you in my next video bye